ये है Back on she goes. No, maybe not. There we go. Cop these new key tags too. Ah. Well, I feel stupid. Kickstand gets every time. You suck, oh my god. Yep, no, yep, the median's supposed to be ran right on. Wow, yeah. You're killing it, big guy. Uh, people are ridiculous. Oh, I needed a little bit of break from homework. I figured I'd come out right a little bit. Oh, is this a black challenger? Oh, this guy's ripping it. I know this guy. This guy appears a subscriber. <laughs> Yep, not gonna wait for you. Perks of a bike. RMFT, baby, roll mother freaking tide. It's not freaking, but I'm trying to curse a little bit less. Keyword trying. <laughs> Go. Dumb bitch from Wash. Oh, that's a curse word. Girl from Washington's on her phone. Listening to some Sean Kingston throwbacks right now. For all of you who think Sean Kingston isn't good, you're wrong. Sean Kingston made some absolute bangers. It's a beautiful day out, but the sun's kind of right in my face. Not digging that. So I installed the piece on the ground, the part that I got, and unfortunately, it needs another part. So not only did the company ship me half of the order to begin with, they had to ship me the other half because they were missing one part. Well, now after the install, I come to find out it needs another part. So that's on the way, and I'm not gonna make a video about it until yeah, I have all the parts in it and it's completely installed because I installed it. Unfortunately, I did it at nighttime in my friend's house, so the lighting wasn't too hot. So I didn't get a video on how to install it, but it really wasn't difficult as long as you know, like, pretty basic things. But I will show it to you guys once I get this last part in. Ah, fuck, I didn't even see that cop. Uh, I hope I wasn't speed. I think we're good. I didn't even see him. I was too busy talking to myself like a dumbass. My three key tags are getting all freaked up now. They keep getting caught on each other. Two is good. Three, yeah. You can't hold to the tropics if he met the ladders. Shorty, I can take you there. Got into this little shaded area. Oh, it's all cold. beat the power of a leader bike. I've owned this bike for maybe, well I've owned this bike for probably three months, but I've owned a leader bike for, I don't know, maybe close to a year, I'd say, maybe a little less. I'd say maybe nine months. And like, I still have not taken leader bikes to their fullest potential, I not even close, and that's crazy. They're just animals. You guys aren't able to see, but I'm rocking a WOW Motorcycles t-shirt right now. Ironic, right? Well, thank you, do it with Dan. When I met him at Barber, he, he was giving away my, well, well, he was giving away WOW motorcycle shirts. And I was like, yeah, I think I told this in another video, but I was like, yeah, this is kind of sacrilegious if I uh, wear this. But he gave me one anyway.
guys who like sports, it was a crazy day in college football yesterday. Tons of upsets, it absolutely jumbled up the top 10. Of course, Alabama's still number one. But for the rest of the top 10, absolutely destroyed it. Uh, gravel everywhere. jay -ha! Wow, yeah, there's really gravel all over. <laughs> baby wheelies that's one thing I'm still not good at they're just so violent and uncomfortable I don't see how people just like do them like they're nothing some of my friends a couple people on Instagram they were asking me because if you watch a lot of YouTube you know that a lot of big channels have been getting demonetized they would upload videos uh, YouTube app instantly demonetized their videos which means they can't make any money and for people who use YouTube to make a living that's kind of a problem because they don't have income luckily it's not happening to me but I also don't make a living off of it I have a smaller channel so I haven't had that issue but a lot of channels have been saying that they'll upload videos and then they'll just instantly get demonetized. And I can't imagine if that were happening to me. I'd be so frustrated. And they're saying what they have to do is they have to contact YouTube, open a case about it, they have to review the video, and then they'll review and see whether or not it should be monetized or not. That process takes a few days and the problem is a, a lot of your views, I'd say like 80% of your views come within the first day, two days within you uploading it. That's when the, the people who really support your channel, they keep coming back and clicking on the video. So even if YouTube ends up monetizing the video again, all of the, all of the views that they would normally get within the first couple days, they didn't make money off of. And that's shitty. So. It's really affecting a lot of YouTubers. I know a lot of YouTubers, now people have made videos like this over and over again about how they gotta quit YouTube, YouTube screwed them over. And it seems like it's a pretty steady downhill trend with YouTube. And it just keeps happening, keeps happening in one way or another. And these content creators are getting screwed over. They're not being paid for their work because YouTube sucks. If I could pass these four trucks, I'd be golden. One. Two, three, four. So for people asking, no, it does not happen to my channel, and I'm glad it doesn't. Now, I also don't make enough money for it to really affect me. I make nowhere close to the amount of money that the big YouTubers make, and that makes sense. Obviously, they have bigger channels. So I don't really have to worry about that, thank God. I have zero patience. If anyone knows me personally, I have zero patience. So I have no, I like, no tolerance for that kind of stuff. If I was putting up quality content that was user-friendly, family-friendly, there was nothing wrong with it, and YouTube was still demonetizing it, I would be furious. It really wouldn't go over well. So I'm glad it's not happening to me because I don't want to deal with that headache and look like the bad guy. Now I know some people were able to get around it by what they would do is, like I said, it, it would take two or three days to, to uh, for YouTube to review it and then monetize it again. So what some content creators were doing is they would upload the video but make it private. It would automatically get demonetized and then they'd take it over with YouTube. They would monetize it again and then once it was monetized again, then they would just make the video public. So they weren't losing those views that they normally would lose if the video was public right off the bat. A man's ripping a SIG while he's riding the bike. I never understood how that happens. Like, your SIG must burn so fast. So I do think it's kind of messed up. That's one thing I know YouTube really needs to work on is is regulating the good versus the bad at YouTube. They, they're, I know that they have good intentions. They're just trying to make quality content on YouTube that is user-friendly, that is appropriate, and that people enjoy. But in the process of that, they're, they're destroying some of their biggest channels and it, it I, I don't know, it's just frustrating to see because you would think with YouTube being such a big corporation, such a big company, you know, they'd have managers in place that would be able to regulate that a little better and have a few better processes in place to kind of, to kind of control that. But it sucks to see just 
YouTube's screwing up. I don't know if they don't have the managers to do that or their managers aren't doing their job or what's going on, but they really need to get it under control because it's ruining some people who have been doing this for a living for years now and, and just thoroughly enjoy it and are content with what they're doing. They're slowly but surely having to turn away from YouTube because it's just not making money for them. And it's sad to see because it's a lot of good channels. It's a lot of channels I like to watch. It's a lot of good people. They're just trying to support their family, doing the things that they love and the things they know how to do best, and YouTube's kind of screwing them. Cena really needs to inquire. Now, I have a Cena SMH10. I don't know about the other newer Cenas. They might have it. They need a skip option on the Cena headset itself, so I can just reach up to my ear, skip it, and go back to riding. I always find myself wanting to skip songs, but I have to do it on my phone, but since the new iOS sucks, like, the little music screen's never there when I go to skip. Plus, you have to look down at your phone, which I don't like doing while I ride. So, you guys can tell me if there's already a feature that Cena has that can do that, but mine doesn't. Just crossing the middle of the road like that? Ridiculous. She just, I thought she was going to keep walking. Luckily, she stopped, but I thought she was just going to continue on. Ah, oh, fucking helmet. Ah. <laughs> yeah. But let me know below what you guys think of this whole YouTube thing. I know it's an ongoing adventure. Content creators are always making new videos about it, and YouTube still can't manage to get it under control. So let me know what you guys think about it below. It's, I know it's hard for us smaller channels to voice our opinion on it because it doesn't really happen to us, but it's still frustrating to see the, the creators that I like to watch getting their channel slowly ruined by YouTube. The people who have been the same people who have been supporting him for years so that's all i wanted to talk about with you guys today hopefully there should be an upcoming ground video coming pretty soon with this whole new mod that i put on it so keep an eye out for that i'll try to get it on i'll try to get it up as quick as possible i'm still waiting for the last part to come in i just ordered it uh today actually but i'll talk to you guys in a later video peace